This spinach and potato omelet is absolutely scrumptious. Every single inch is packed with filling. It is perfect for breakfast on any day of the week. I love this omelet. Let's make it. These are all the ingredients you're gonna need. Three eggs, about two cups of spinach, four red potatoes, shredded cheese, a diced onion, and approximately two tablespoons of butter. We are going to nuke these red potatoes. So after you scrub the skin, we're gonna poke holes in these with the fork. And this is going to prevent the potatoes from exploding when you put them in a microwave. Make sure you poke all your potatoes, put them in a the microwave for two minutes so they can get nice and tender. While the potatoes are cooking, let's crack open these eggs. You're gonna need three eggs. For this recipe, I feel like three eggs work perfectly. And then you want to scramble these with a fork or you can use an egg beater. The purpose is to get as much air into these eggs as possible so they can be nice and fluffy. Once your potatoes are out of the microwave, it's time to cut them. Be careful because they will be hot. These potatoes are very small, so we only need three cuts. I cut down the center, I turn it, I cut again, and then I cut it down the middle. And then you're going to have these beautiful, nice, bite-sized pieces of potato. I love to keep the skin on because it adds a great texture, but feel free to remove the skin if you like. It also adds a pretty color to our omelet. And the more colors, the better. Once these are all diced up, it's time to season. We're just going to season these very simply with salt and some black pepper. Make sure all the potatoes are coated in that seasoning. And while we're seasoning the potatoes, we also need to season our eggs as well. So let's get those all seasoned. And we're just going to simply season these with salt and pepper. That's it. You want the flavor of the vegetables to shine through. Now that everything's all seasoned, let's get started on our filling. To a hot skillet with approximately a half a tablespoon of olive oil, you are gonna add one half of a diced onion. Now this is where you can be creative. I am using a sweet onion, but you can use red onion, you can use white onion, whatever onion you prefer. Once your onion is nice and translucent and soft, you're gonna add your spinach. I'm adding approximately two cups of spinach and we already know spinach is mad disrespectful. This is going to wilt down very, very quickly. I am going to season my spinach with salt, black pepper, and then I'm also going to season with a little garlic powder. This is going to add that nice pop of flavor and make our filling delicious. Once the spinach is all seasoned and it is wilted, we are going to add those potatoes to this mixture. Yes, the potatoes are done. We're going to add them to this mixture because we want them to crisp up. So we want the potato skin to get crispy and also the flesh to get crispy. Go ahead, add approximately one tablespoon of butter. This is going to bring everything together and make your filling nice, tasty, and delicious. Once your potatoes have reached the crispiness that you prefer, it's time to remove the filling. And we want to make sure that this filling stays smoking hot. After you put it in a bowl, I suggest putting a top on it or covering it with some foil. Now let's get into the fun part. It's time to make this omelet. Rinse your skillet out and we're going to start with two tablespoons of butter. This butter is really, really important. We want to make sure that the surface of your skillet is all buttered up. Then we're going to add our eggs. I have this on a very low heat because we're going to slow cook these eggs. We do not want them to burn. The method that I use is I push the outside edges into the center and I gently tilt the skillet to get the more eggs to flow into that empty space. This is to make sure all the eggs are cooked. You're going to go around, you're going to 
push from the outside in and then gently tilt the skillet until all of the eggs have been cooked on that surface. If you're using a bigger skillet, you won't have to do it as many times, but this is what we're going for. After your eggs have been cooked and they're pretty solidified, take your spatula, go around the edges because we want to make sure nothing has stuck to the side. It's time to load this baby up. We're going to fill half of the surface. You're going to start by putting down half of your cheese. This is a cheddar cheese mixture with also Monterey Jack and I shredded this myself because the cheese melts better when you shred it yourself. Now it's time to add that smoking hot potato, onion, and spinach filling. Go ahead, load it up. I love to make sure that the filling goes to the very edge. It's just something really cool about seeing the, a very stuffed omelet. Once you've added the delicious spinach and potato mixture, you're going to top with the remaining cheese. And now it's time to fold the omelet. Take your spatula, go around. It's okay to use your finger if you have to. And you're going to just flip the egg over the top of the filling. Now, mine broke a little bit, but it's okay. I'm just going to smooth it out and it's still going to be absolutely delicious. Once you have flipped the top, it's time to cover this so the rest of the cheese can melt. And I'm going to let this cook for an additional 30 to 45 seconds. And now it's time to plate this up. Your omelet should be totally movable since we use enough butter. And you're just going to simply use your spatula and the skillet and slide it onto your plate. There you go a vegetarian spinach potato omelet. Bon appetit. Let's eat.